this evening, which is VA 2015-02 City of Aldosta. Pat, would you present? Hey, sir, this is a request for tax amendments to the city's land development regulations, actually known as the LDR. Uh, these are amendments to Chapter 106, uh, which is definitions, 214, which is the standards applying to all districts, uh, Chapter 218, which is our use standards, and Chapter 238, which is one we don't see very often, but that is historic preservation chapter. Uh, we discussed these at pretty good length at the work session. This evening I passed out an updated packet um, that is 98.9% or I think the same as what we saw a week ago. Um, the amendments are divided into three groups. They now consist of four pages. There are no changes to group number one from your work session. Those are amendments that deal with the appeals process for the Certificate of Appropriateness by the Historic Preservation Commission. Currently the regulations require that an appeal be submitted directly to the city clerk. Uh, the proposal, in fact, is to change that, that the appeal gets submitted directly to the Commission Administrator, which is staff, and then we give it to the City Clerk. Um, group number two has to do with minimum building setbacks in residential zones. We're proposing to relax some of those dimensions um, for many of the residential zoning districts. Um, attached with your packet is the same handout that we looked at last Monday night which is a comparison of our residential setbacks with those of other jurisdictions that range from Lowndes County to other cities in Georgia, Athens, Augusta, Columbus, and Macon, as well as Gainesville and Tallahassee, Florida. As you look at that matrix, it's a rather interesting comparison amongst all of us, and in many cases we are more restrictive than many of these other urban communities. Um, we've had a number of variance requests for relief from building setbacks, particularly in the rear yard, and that is what has called staff to look at this. So we're wanting to trim that back. In effect, the end result will be a more urban pattern where you could have the flexibility to site a little larger dwelling unit on a smaller lot and therefore a little more efficient use of land. Um, those are some of the requests we've been getting. And the third group of an oh, and number two also has to do with minimum space between buildings. Um, different parts of the LDR specify different distances, um, for example, accessory buildings, I believe, are required to be 15 feet, um, but as a default, the number is 20 feet, which we bumped into as being fairly restrictive, and we're proposing to change that down to 10 feet. And then lastly, the amendment group number three is to add two new items in our lease table and definitions to go with them, and that is for a brew pub and also a microbrewery. These are things that are sort of new, sort of in vogue um, around the state and around the country. Um, they are currently unaddressed in our use table. Brew pubs are treated the same as any other restaurant, except that the fact that they have a brewery within them kicks them into an industrial use. Um, we do not make the distinction for that, even for microbreweries. Um, one that produces a very small amount of product is lumped in the same category as, say, Anheuser-Busch. Um, with a very large group. So with very carefully, we want to put those in our use table with some good definitions that mimic the language that is currently in state law or is being considered by the General Assembly, um, and also make these conditional uses in some of our commercial zones, and of course still a permitted use in the industrial zones. Um, there was some discussion of some other amendments that had to do with event centers and also perhaps adding some diagrams to setbacks. And staff is withdrawing those from the discussion. We would like to put those in a future amendment site. And we've got some more material to give you. Um, those are all the changes, Mr. Chairman. I'll be glad to entertain any further questions okay. you may have. Staff, do you have any questions? I mean, uh, Commissioner, have any questions for staff at this time? Any questions? And I'm just pleased to see that you were paying attention to our work session because some of the suggestions that Commissioner Bolton put forward to you got those real quick. Yes, so there was one it. word that we wanted to move out of the setbacks chart, and so we removed that word. Very much. And I think that was a, a big improvement. Very good. Very good. Any discussion amongst the commissioners? Any questions for staff? I don't know that there's anybody here present to speak in favor of or opposition of this request. So if there's no further discussion or further questions, I will take a motion on 
this case. We have a motion from Commissioner Polk, and we have a second from Commissioner Ball. All those in favor, signify by raising your right hand. It is approved. Eight nothing. Deborah, thank you very much. Also, point out the recommendation for samples was totally ignored. <laughs> when you get a conditional use request for one of these uses coming for you, I think you should ask now. <laughs> So, Commissioner, I appreciate your attendance this evening and your participation in uh, 